beautiful one. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Today is episode 21 on June 21st. Woo! Happy summer solstice. Woo! Happy Wren's one year birthday. Woo! And happy Queer Pride Month. Woo! It's a powerful day. We're going to be talking about all those things today, along with how I fell off the Zazen bandwagon when I was at my dad's, which was not good for me. And I'm going to share another DMT vision with you of creation as a toy that was handed to you by the Divine Mother. All right, ready? Let's get started. Intro. Happy summer solstice, the longest day of the year, the longest day of light, the strongest solar day of the year. And Rin's birthday, she's one year old today, isn't that awesome? I'm so excited that she came into my life a year ago. She's such a wonderful little being. She brings me so much joy and a sense of love and companionship. And I'm going to be giving her plenty of her favorite treats for her birthday, catnip and nutritional yeast. She and Gabriella are completely addicted to nutritional yeast. They beg for it multiple times a day. But you know, they could be addicted to something much worse, so I'm pretty happy about that. At least it's something that's really, really good for them. And it's Queer Pride Month, isn't that awesome? I came out as bisexual about 30 years ago, came out of an unsuccessful marriage, moved to New York, and began to live an extremely debaucherous life. It was a lot of fun. The 90s were amazing for me. I had so much fun. But one of the best parts of it was being surrounded by a queer community, an uplifting, inspiring queer community, where I didn't feel weird or out of place, I wasn't judged, and I felt inspired to just be myself. It was a truly amazing time period for me, which I miss very much. I haven't been surrounded by a queer community like that since, and I miss that camaraderie and connection. It's something I've been thinking a lot about lately. I feel like New York has been calling me back for the last couple of years, and I plan on going and spending some more time there to really see what that has to offer me at this point in time in my life. It's been a really long time since I've actually felt like I fit in anywhere. 99.999% of the time, I feel like a visitor no matter where I am or who I'm with. I feel like an outsider, as I'm sure many of you can relate. I fell off the Zazen bandwagon when I was at my dad's last weekend, which was absolutely the worst thing I could have possibly done. It's so crazy how that happens. Like in those moments when we need to be meditating the most is when resistance arises the greatest and can often prevent us from doing what we really need to be doing for ourselves. But today I got back on with 30 minutes of Zazen and 30 minutes of closed eye meditation, which helped a lot. I'm feeling mucho, mucho better. The dark swirling cloud of emotions that I was experiencing from this last weekend has lifted a bit, which is really nice. I have another DMT vision that I want to share with you. This is one that has occurred on almost every DMT trip that I've taken, including the very first time that I smoked DMT. So I'll tell you about that first time. I was with a group of friends at Burning Man. It was around 2000 or 2001, and someone said that they were smoking DMT at the camp next door. So we all ran over there. It was a group of people that I knew and loved. We sat around in a circle and took turns one by one smoking. I hit the pipe and laid back and went into my vision, and it was exceptionally beautiful. I found myself floating through these tunnels that looked like they were made out of large panes of stained glass. I floated through them. There were branches off the tunnels, creating a whole network of tunnels that looked much like the blood veins and capillaries in our bodies. I was just floating through, seeing the light shining through the stained glass, a state of utter peace when I exited the tunnel into this wide open space and there was this giant thing floating in space. It looked like a huge bundle of snakes that were made out of little colored wooden children's blocks strung together. And they were all writhing within each other and then reaching toward me like <laughs> and it was super intense and it scared the crap out of me. I had no idea what it was or who I was or where I was or what was going on. It was just extremely overwhelming. 
And then the Divine Mother appeared. And she said, but Blue, I made this for you. This is what you've always wanted to be. But I still wasn't ready to let go and experience it. And then a friend of mine, Petey, appeared and said, dude, just let go. <laughs> and for some reason, that really worked for me. It's funny because Petey has shown up in multiple psychedelic journeys of mine whenever I'm at those moments. Ma. Whenever I'm at those moments where I'm having trouble letting go, he often appears and says something like, Oh, sweetie, come here. I love you. Come here, you. You're so rotten. Oh, you're just so rotten and beautiful and amazing and wonderful. I love you so much. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rin. Happy birthday to you. Mm, you are such a sweetheart. He often shows up at those moments when I'm having trouble letting go or there's fear arising and says something like, dude, just let go. Or come on, man, just be. And it's always exactly what I need to hear in those moments. So anyway, in this DMT journey, he said, dude, just let go. And I went, oh, okay. And I relaxed and I floated toward this giant mass of snakes until I sunk into it and became one with it. And it was an extremely overwhelming experience. It's like I was the whole thing and I was turning in upon myself and raising up and being ripped open and shredded and then merging and twisting and turning and then just ripping apart and it was super intense and I noticed that if I tried to resist it at all it hurt really deeply but if I could let go even to being rended apart it felt ecstatic and beautiful and amazing and this choir of voices, male and female voices, started singing as I was going through this roller coaster experience. Slippery slidey topsy turvy, here it comes and whoops, there it goes again. Slippery slidey topsy turvy, here it comes and whoops, there it goes again. And I feel like that's some of the most profound teachings that I've ever had in my entire life. Life is slippery and slidey and topsy turvy. Everything that you ever dreamed of is coming towards you and whoops, there it goes again. Over and over and over again. You can't hold on to any of it. You can't grasp any of it. If you try, it just hurts. It just creates suffering. So you just have to let go to the ride. I call this the toy. And I knew that it was all of creation and that the Divine Mother had created it for me to experience and given it to me. And when I say me, I mean the Divine Self, the All. And practically every time that I smoke DMT, the journey ends with me arriving at the toy. And I just have to sink in and experience. And the choir starts singing, and it's a beautiful, powerful experience. So if life is ever getting you down, and it seems like you can't make things work the way that you would like to, just remember, Slippery, slidey, topsy-turvy, here it comes and whoops, there it goes again. Awesome. I'm so grateful that you're tuning in. I love sharing this with you. I love you very much and I hope that you are having a most beautiful day.